Hello everyone, my name is Stanley St. Rose, and today we're going to be talking about Transcendentalism. Now, before I go into the explanation and meaning of Transcendentalism, please remember to leave a like, subscribe, and or comment so the channel can continue to grow. Now, Transcendentalism, simply put, is a very um, interesting ph philosophical um, ideology, mindset, idea, um, it's, it's a type of thinking or a type of literary, um, I guess you can say genre, uh, where people focused on nature, people focused on, um, self-importance, um, individualism, um, you know, spirituality or finding, uh, the truth by yourself in nature. Um, when you look at Emerson, when you look at, um, Thoreau, when you look at uh, Margaret Fuller, um, and other major writers of this time period, of this movement, they focused on the individual, that you can find the truth of the individual uh, or the truth of the universe of reality uh, by yourself. You can go out into the world or more specifically go out into nature and figure out how the universe works and understand the universe by exploring it or the world by exploring it by yourself. So Emerson, Thoreau, Fuller, they, in their writings, you can see this, this type of exploration, this type of um, self-independence, this type of individuality that focused on breaking away from the, the, the established institutions of society uh, and going out on your own. Um, you know, these writers, or, or in transcendentalism, it, it speaks against um, being a cog in the machine. What I mean by that is, you know, if you're a human being, if you're an American, or if you live in established, uh, in any type of established civilization, what basically happens is that, um, you know, maybe you work in a factory, maybe you work in an office, maybe you work in a school, maybe you work in a college, maybe you work in some type of corporation industry, uh, maybe you work from at the, you know, the, the local supermarket down the street. All of these are types of institutions, of types of hierarchical systems, are types of um, pretty much machines that are, that are used to produce things, to provide services and or goods. And you're just another number. You, you go, you know, you wake up every morning, you go to work, you earn wages. Uh, maybe you're married, maybe you're not, maybe you have kids, maybe you don't. Uh, but you just live in all these types of created and, and societal institution that pretty much control your life. And, and they believe that the only way that we can figure out the truth of the universe and understand the universe or our place in the universe is by looking within, by seeing ourselves as individuals and not just cogs in the machine, not just a part of the system. You know, exploring nature, going out into nature, um, loving nature, um, um, you know, shutting off the... I mean, if, if these transcendentalists would, would live in 2023 today or in the 21st century, um, you know, in the modern current today era you know they they would see that their ideas they don't exist at all because we're all just cogs in the machine you know you're using a cell phone now that connects you to every person in the world and you're going to school and you're going to work and you're getting a degree you're getting a degree so that you can be a cog in the machine another degree holder that gets an established job in a established institution uh that um that pretty much you will work for for the next 50 to 60 years of your life and then you'll get checks and you'll get paid and then you'll get a retirement and um, you'll live off your retirement until you're dead. Uh, so most established people, most people around the world, we live in an institution, we are causing the machine. Um, it would be nice to go out, out into the wilderness and explore nature and enjoy nature, but let's be honest, most people are not gonna do that. Um, Emerson, Thoreau and Fuller, um, their writings um, talk about um, relying on yourself and, and, and you know, self-independence. Uh, but the thing is, like, in society, we all depend on each other. We depend on uh, corporation and types of insurance, um, um, family members, other individuals. If you're a family, you know, maybe you depend on a husband or maybe you depend on a wife. Maybe you work together to support the, the burdens and the financial debts of being an American or, an, or a European or any other type of uh, nationality that you may be. Um, and so transcendentalists, you know, th those are the key ideas, finding truth, uh, not through established things, uh, established institutions like religion, 
uh, or empirical knowledge, but finding truth, um, um, finding self-reliance, uh, individuality uh, by exploring yourself or your 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 own individual um, journey through life um, and understanding the world or, or establishing greater connections, not through religion, but through your own means of searching for it in the real world. Um, that that's what's at the core of transcendentalism. Um, and, and it's it, it inspired a lot of people um, to go out into the world. It, it, it influenced romanticism um, and other types of movements like that. Uh, but, but but largely what I'll say about transcendentalism is that it, it's um, you're, you're look you're kind of looking for a greater spiritual connection to the universe and how the universe worked by by not to establish, uh, religion, but, you know, that's kind of like, you know, you know, people going out into the world by themselves to find God is not really, um, you know, it's not really what people do today, you know, I mean, if we're, if we're talking about analysis and deeper meaning here, it's not really, you know, um, the meaning of this transcendentalism, you know, people are not really going out into nature and living in nature, uh, for a year or two, maybe some people do that, but but uh, by and large, most people live in institutions, and people love institutions. People love uh, having a paycheck. People love uh, living in apartments and houses. People love having insurances, health insurance, um, life insurance, uh, uh, car insurance. We love our securities. We love our institutions. We believe that they protect us. We believe that we're secure in them. Uh, we believe that, you know, the legal institution, uh, the law, courts, we, be we believe in these things because we believe that we can argue our cases in courts. Um, people like these things. That's why, you know, people love countries like America and countries in Europe and developed countries because these institutions, sometimes they do protect us from um, each other. Um, and so most people are not like transcendentalists believing that they can be self-dependent because we do depend on a lot of institutions around the world. Everything from our military to police officers to courts to hospitals to schools to colleges. We depend on different types of institutions to provide us different types of needs from education to health care. Um, and so I think in today's society, America and other countries around the world have become more reliant upon institutions and governments and countries and and, and securities uh, than just going out into the world and being your own champion. Um, so fantastic idea, fantastic movement for self-independence and self-reliance and exploring the spiritual world on your own. But by and large, I don't think most people don't follow transcendentalism today. That, that, that would be my uh, outlook of, of how the reality is shaped and and I don't I don't see mo many transcendentalists in the streets um, saying, you know, be self reliant and, and and explore your own individuality. I see a lot of people relying on on, on established institutions uh, that already exist in the world. Um, but it, but in a nutshell, that is what transcendentalism is. Uh, those are some key ideas that exist within trans transcendentalism. Thoreau and Emerson and Fuller are are. Um, some some writers, some authors uh, of, of transcendent, transcendentalism. There are others, but those are some key uh, writers of transcendentalism. Uh, but that's all I had to say about it. Please remember to leave a like, subscribe, and or comment. And I'll see you guys in the next video.